okay children now we discuss one more thing in sets single term state here what is the meaning of single term state here single term set means the set which has only one element that is single element the set which has only one element is called single term set it is very clear the set consists of one element only single element that set is called single term set okay let us understand this by an example let us take example children do you know prime numbers as we discussed earlier what are the prime numbers say first very good 2 3 5 7 11 13 13 so and so these are the prime numbers the prime numbers are the numbers which are divisible by only one and itself those are the prime numbers prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 and so and so when you observe these prime numbers here other than 2 3 5 7 11 dash dash what are all these numbers whether these are even numbers or odd numbers odd numbers here only 2 is the even number in prime numbers so this 2 is particularly called as even prime this is the even prime what is the even prime 2 in prime numbers except 2 all numbers are odd numbers so only even number in prime numbers is 2 so 2 is particularly called as even prime now let us take example set of even primes can you write elements of set of even prime there is only one element the even prime is 2 you write only 2 in the set so set of even primes is the single term set okay let us see one more example see children set of integers which are neither positive nor negative all the integers you observe there are positive integers 1 2 3 4 5 dash dash minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 these are the negative integers and between these positive and negative integers there is zero this is neither positive nor negative how many such uh, integers you can find which are neither positive nor negative only one that is zero so when we try to write the set of integers which are neither positive nor negative we get only one element in the set zero so set of integers which are neither positive nor negative is also the example for singleton set you can see so many examples for singleton set but you have to remember singleton set means the set which has only one element the set which has single element is called singleton set okay children now let us understand an important concepts in the sets that is the relation between n of a n of b n of a intersection b and n of a union b we establish the relation between these uh, number of elements in a number of elements in b number of elements in a union b and a intersection b let us establish the relation by using venn diagram okay children first uh, we draw rectangle which shows the universal set and in the right top corner we write the symbol of universal set mu and we take a and b sets those uh, may have common elements so we draw two circles with which represent uh, set a and set b with uh, overlapping one another you can see the same thing on the screen okay children now you observe in of a means all the elements are number of elements in set a from figure from the venn diagram you see n of a means number of elements in set a in this n of a the number of elements in 
shaded region that is common part to set A and set B that is A intersection B. Number of elements in A intersection B that is N of A intersection B is also taken. In N of A number of elements in A number of elements in A intersection B is also considered. And N of B let us take N of B. N of B means number of elements in set B. In this the number of elements in shaded region or highlighted region on the screen that is common part to set A and set B is also considered. Here the highlighted part on the screen is considered in both N of A and N of B. When we take number of elements in A, N of A, number of elements in B, N of B, in both N of A and N of B, N of A intersection B, number of elements in A intersection B are also considered. So, now we try to write N of A plus N of B. N of A plus N of B means in this the N of A intersection B, number of elements in A intersection B is considered twice in N of A and N of B. Let us try to subtract one time. So we write N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. N of A means all the elements of set A. N of B means all the elements of set B. N of A intersection B means elements in highlighted region. A and B sets are added the number of elements in set A and set B are added N of A plus N of B and we subtracted once the number of elements in A intersection B. This totally gives the all the elements of set A and B that is A union B. N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B is nothing but all the elements of set A and set B. That means all the elements of a union B. So, this total equal to N of A union B. Number of elements in A union B. So, we write N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B is equal to N of A union B. This is the relation between the cardinal number of set A, set B, A intersection B and A union B. What is the relation? N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. Okay, children, sometimes questions are asked in the examination that set A will be given, set B is also will be given and asked to check or verify the relation between the union of these sets and intersection of sets are verified n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b is equal to n of a union b. This question sometimes uh, asked in the examination. Let us understand uh, with an example. Okay, let us take the question which is asked uh, in the examination so many times to verify the relation. Take the question a set a is equal to a, B, C, D as its elements. Set B is equal to B, C, G, e, F, G as its elements. Verify N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B is equal to N of A union B. Now, let us take first set A. What is set A, children? A is equal to A, B, C, D as its elements. We find N of A. How many elements are in set A? A, B, C, D. Four elements. So, we write N of A is equal to 4. Now, we consider set B. What is set B here, children? B, C, E, F, G as its elements. How many elements are in set B? 5. So, we write N of B is equal to 5. Now, calculate A intersection B. See, children, A intersection B is equal. First, we write the elements of set A. What are the elements of set A? A, B, C, D. Here the intersection operation is taken, so we write intersection. And what are the elements of set to B? B, C, G, e, F, G. Intersection consists the common elements of set A and set B. 
Here, what are the common elements in set A and set B? B, comma C. So we write A intersection B is equal B, comma C as its elements. How many elements are in A intersection B? Two. Very good. Here we write n of A intersection B is equal. What do you write? Two. Number of elements in A intersection B is two. Right. Now we calculate A union B. A union B is equal to what are the elements of set A? First, we write the elements of set A. A, B, C, D. Here the union operation is taken. And now we write the elements of B. What are the elements of set B? B, C, E, F, G. Union of two sets consists the all the elements of set A and set B. So we write A union B is equal. We write all the elements of set A. What are those? A, B, C, D. And now we write all the elements of set B. What are those? B, C, E, F, G. Here B, C elements are already taken from set A. So what are the remaining elements? E, F, G. So we write E, F, G in A union B set. Totally, we write A union B is equal A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the elements of A union B. N of A union B. What is the number of elements in A union B? Count children A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 7. N of A union B is equal 7. Now, let us verify. What is the LHS? N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. What is N of A children? 4 plus. What is N of B? 5. 4 plus 5 minus. What is N of A intersection B? 2. 4 plus 5 minus 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So, N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B is equal 7. Now, we take all this. What is RHS? N of A in B. How many elements are in A in B? N of A in B is equal 7. What did you observe? Here, the value of LHS is 7 and the value of RHS is 7. So, we conclude from these two, n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b is equal to n of a union b. This is the verification of relation between the number of elements in set a, set b and a union b and also a intersection b. This question is asked so many times in the examination for 4 marks.